Hello, H-Man here. Today I'm going to show you and explain to you the differences between the two models of Desert Eagle, the older Mark 7 model and the newer Mark 19, or X1X. Um, the original Desert Eagle was chambered in 357 Magnum, and actually if you go online, uh, just Google original 357 Eagle. Uh, the original prototype look, looks nothing like the Desert Eagle that we know today, and like I said, just Google it. Uh, anyways, it was first chambered in 357 Magnum, uh, 44 Magnum came next, and I believe it was in 1991 that Magnum Research came out with the first uh, 50 AE Desert Eagle pistols, or the 50 Cal. All you Counter-Strike fuckers know what gun that is. Anyways, now on to the guns. This is my Desert Eagle Mark 7 44 Magnum pistol. It's in matte chrome finish. Has a matching eight round magazine to go with it. Uh, it's eight plus one in the chamber. I'm gonna rock the slide back, let everybody know it's unloaded. You can see right there. 44 Magnum. It's a very powerful handgun. I don't know if you can see the rifling in the barrel. Um, basically, when Magnum Research came out with the first pistols, they were all in the front. The 357, the original 357 Desert Eagle was a little bit smaller here, had a smaller slide assembly. They all look the same from the side, but when you look at it from the front, the 357, the bore was actually smaller, and so was the slide. The 44 was a bit bigger. And when the first 50 AE came out, it looked this big. This is my brand new. Mark 19, 44 Magnum, and polished chrome. Look at that. Yeah. Also, with an 8-round magazine, it, the magazine in this gun has matte black, but who, who gives a shit? It doesn't really do anything. Again, it's not loaded. I'll rock the slide back. You can see the rifling down the barrel there. Now, I want you to take a look at both of these guns. Which one looks bigger? Ah, you're thinking this one, aren't you? The reason that is is because when Magnum Research came out with the first 50 AE pistols, uh, it had the same slide assembly as this. It was the exact same size. And I believe it was in sometime in the late 90s maybe, they decided to have all their guns, all three calibers, carry the same slide assembly. And before that, all their guns were called the Mark 7 series. When they came out with all the guns sharing the same slide assembly, they called that the Mark 19 series. And the difference between the two is uh, the Mark 7 series all have a, take a look here, they all have a 3 8 dovetail, and the Mark 19 series have a 7 8 dovetail to accommodate the uh, scope rings. You can see the has slotted lines in this one. Now you can put scopes on the older Desert Eagles. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of scopes on handguns myself, but you know, it's for whatever. Some people like to target shoot or competition shoot. Who gives a shit? If that's your thing, go for it. Um, also, with the newer models, you can switch out the barrels between the three calibers. You can go from, uh, in my case, this is a 44. I can go from 44 to 50 by swapping out the magazine and the slide. I just have to get a 50A slide. To go from either of those to 357, I would have to get a magazine, slide, and a bolt assembly because the 357 is obviously a smaller round than the 44 Magnum. So, you tell me which gun do you like better? The older Mark 7 or the newer Mark 19? Sexy, aren't they? Anyways, uh, they're both very good guns, uh, very, very reliable. Uh, every once in a while they will jam, but honestly, mostly that's due to limp wristing. Sometimes I'll have some of my friends go with me and they'll fire one of them for the first time. And it'll jam up after a couple shots. Uh, they aren't expecting the recoil, or else they are, and they kind of go like that. And you just kind of got to get a firm grip on it and not let it do that, and it won't recoil. Uh, and that's that. That's all I wanted to show you. Oh, and by the way, don't leave any stupid fucking comments about, oh, I don't want to hear this bullshit. Oh, you don't have the 50 cal? Ooh, you're a fag. You suck. 
Obviously, you know nothing about guns, okay? Just because you play Counter-Strike all the time doesn't make you a weapons expert. If you knew anything about guns, you would know that 44 Magnum bullet is a fucking beast. Okay, hell, a 357 could blow somebody's head off. So, I don't want to hear these lame comments about, oh, you don't have the 50 cal, you suck, blah, 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 blah. Okay, go get fucked. You don't know anything about what you're talking about. To, all the, to everybody else, enjoy. I hope this was educational. If not, then, well, don't watch it. Turn off YouTube or something.